maths seventh standard first chapter sixth exercise in this we are going to see congruence of segment now what does a congruent segment means congruent segment means when two segments are given line segments are given and if their measures are equal if their measures are equal they are said to be congruent like suppose length of ab is congruent is equal to length of pq and vice versa length of pq is congruent or is equal to length of ab got it and it is denoted by the sign this this sign is known as congruence okay if the given line segment are equal in length they are congruent as i have said now in the activity they have given us a diagram and according to that they have shown us what are the congruent segments of these diagram now suppose ab is congruent to dc means this line is congruent to this line then ae is congruent to bh ae is congruent to bh segment ae segment ae is congruent to bh then segment ef segment ef is congruent to hg so here we are going to write hg segment df is congruent to segment df is congruent to cg okay for this logically we have to see the measures and then we have to write the segment congruent segments over here okay going towards the exercise write the names of the pairs of congruent line using a divider now we have to use a divider for this by using a divider we have to write the congruent segments now first we will take this side segment mg now keep the same measurement and measure gr measure the rest of the segments too you will find few similarities so you can see mg is congruent to ge okay so segment mg sign of congruence to segment ge in the same way measure n and g now measure the sides okay now this segment is equal to ng so segment ng is congruent to segment gr now one more take the measure of g and b measure the rest of the angles no yes Me means g segment gb is congruent to gc segment gb is congruent to segment gc got it in the same way the last one you have to do it by yourself and find the one more segment which is congruent got it in the next exercise we have in the next question we have to see a line is given to us and all the measures all the measures between these alphabets are equal means these measures are equal so we have to accordingly write the measures uh, write the segments who are whose uh, sides are equal to the other segment one one segment is given and the other we have to find it so first they have given a and b segment ab now this is congruent to wa 
got it ab is congruent to wa then ap a and p this segment is congruent to y and c now how are you going to choose the alphabet see suppose a is given over here and p is given over here a is in the third place and p is in the second place so 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so from here you have to choose the third alphabet y and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. YC. Got it? In the same way segment AC. A and C. So that will be equal to P and Y. You can write any alphabets whose measures are equal. Suppose X and W. You can write X and W. You can write B and C. Okay? But take the opposite sides. Suppose X and W is given take q, q and p so that it will be easy to differentiate next segment p and w p and w how many alphabets are there one two three four five so again you have to choose those alphabets which are having five alphabets in uh, again you have to choose a segment that is having five alphabets so you can take b y they have given already b y b and y then comes y a how many alphabets 1 2 3 4 so you can take 1 2 3 4 yq the opposite side is given you can choose any side bw b and w there goes z and x they have taken the opposite sides. In all the segments, they have taken the opposite sides. You can take the similar sides as well. But the opposite sides are much preferable so that you can count when they are bigger numbers. Like they have taken four alphabets, then where you are going to count? Suppose one, two, three, four, they have taken where you are going to count the four alphabets after this. So it is better to count from year or from year. Got it? Hope you understood the concept of congruence of segment. Thank you.